this is my uh, electric 12 volt do it yourself dot pen. Uh, it allows me to use a Stabilo fine liner and you can get those in 47 different colours so it's quite versatile. It uses um, a 12 volt electric motor uh, that runs at 500 revs per minute connected to a, a cam that I bought for a tattoo machine. Uh, the cam's connected to a piece of Lego, a piece of uh, Lego that allows me to connect a conrod to the uh, to the pen. Uh, at the end of the pen, I've got a bit of plastic that uh, allows me to hold the pen in place while it goes up and down inside a bit of scrap aluminium tube, and the end of the pen sticks out at the bottom so that I can use it for my dot work. Uh, rather than running it just at 500 RPM, I made a little control box using a, an Arduino and a little mini joystick that allows me to control the, uh, the speed of the pen or the number of vibrations it does. I have to connect the Arduino to a, a, a 5 volt power pack via a USB lead and it's also connected via um, a 12 volt uh, transformer. When it's switched on the uh, joystick allows me to control the speed of the, of the vibrations of the pen. I can control it from something like about one or two dots per second right the way up to I think it's something like about eight dots per second and the middle position on the joystick gives me two or three dots per oh, no sorry gives me three or four dots per second. This is a demo of it in use. I find it's better running at the medium speed than the fast speed for me. I've covered the, the motor of the pen with a bit of foam rubber just to make it more comfortable in my hand. And I find that if I do it at its nominal position on the joystick, which is kind of half speed, it gives me um, better but I like, the, I like the, the spacing of the dots better like that. And also I'll put a bit of foam rubber underneath the base of the paper so that it absorbs any shock from the tip going up and down. But in, in practice it's... Uh, there's, there's very little vibration coming from it so I'm pretty pleased with it. And to finish, these are just a few examples of the things that I've done with it. Just some of my doodles. 